Hello there! This video demonstrates how to add VMware products for metering in UsageMeter 4.2. It will also guide you through the web interface of UsageMeter 4.2. The complete list of supported product versions for metering can be checked in the VMware Interoperability Matrix. To start metering your VMware products, do the following. In the Usage Meter web interface on the products page, add vCenter slash VMware Cloud Foundation. Enter the vCenter IP address or host name. Enter the credentials of the single sign on vCenter user. If you use an external platform services controller, select the Use External Platform Services Controller PSC checkbox. In the PSC endpoint text box, enter the IP address or host name of the external platform services controller and a port number. The default port number is 7444. Select the VMware Cloud Foundation edition associated with this vCenter from the drop down list. Click Add. Then accept the product certificate. If the vCenter details are submitted correctly, the connection to the product will be OK and the collection will start. Continue with adding an NSXV instance for metering. Before adding it, you need to add for metering the vCenter servers with which NSXV is registered. Then click Add. From the drop down list, select the vCenter with which this NSXV is registered and then enter the NSXV IP address or hostname. Enter the credentials of the CLI admin of the NSXV instance. Click Add. Accept the product certificate. Proceed with adding an NSXT instance. Click Add. Before adding it, you need to add for metering the vCenter server with which NSXT is registered. Enter the IP address or host name of this NSXT instance. Enter the credentials of the NSXT CLI admin. Click Add. Accept the product certificate. After that, go to Vrealize Operations. Note that Vrealize Operations will be automatically detected if it is associated with the vCenter instance that was previously added for metering in UsageMeter. After that, enter the user credentials needed to connect to this vRealize operations instance. Next, go to vRealize Network Insight. To add a vRealize Network Insight instance, enter the endpoint IP address or hostname. Select the authorization type. Enter the credentials of the user able to connect to this instance. Click Add. Accept the product certificate. Continue with adding VMware Cloud Director availability. Click Add. Enter the endpoint IP or hostname and the credentials of the user able to connect to it. Click Add to complete the process. Accept the product certificate. Next, add the VMware Cloud Director instance. Enter the IP address or hostname of this instance and the credentials of the user able to connect to it. Click Add and then accept the product certificate. Finally, add a Horizon Desktop as a Service instance and enter the IP address or hostname of the endpoint, the user credentials and the domain to which this endpoint belongs. Click Add and then accept the product certificate. After adding your VMware products for metering, you can check the usage meter notifications. You can filter your notifications by a particular date or time range. Under the Licenses tab, you can view or change your license type. By clicking the Settings tab in Usage Meter, you can check if Usage Meter is connected to vCloud Usage Insight, change how Usage Meter connects to the Internet, and configure the logs and stat level that Usage Meter generates. Note that the debug level uses up the logging capacity faster as it provides more information. In the top right menu of Usage Meter, you will have quick access to Usage Meter 4.2, documentation, and latest notifications. In the About section, you can view the Usage Meter version, build number, and UID. 
with this our walk through the usage meter for the two metering and web interface completes thank you for watching